Hi guys, and welcome to Minions Monthly for February 2015. It has been another busy month, and I thought I would bring you up to speed on what has been happening and what is going to be happening in the near future. I'm going to start with a little news. Apparently Bethesda are going to be hosting their first ever E3 showcase in June of this year. And of course, speculation is rife. We're all trying to figure out what are they going to announce. I mean, it could just be they finally decided it's time to show up at this event, or it could be they have something fairly important to tell the world about. We don't know, and we're all... Well, we're, the, the rumour mill is in, you know, full force. It's off, it's doing its thing. And of course, I'm hoping it's Fallout 4. I'm, re I'm ready for the next Fallout game. I wouldn't mind the next Elder Scrolls game, but I'd prefer Fallout 4. Now, obviously, it might be neither. I don't, we don't know, uh, but we can hope, right? We can hope. My guess is they're going to keep their mouths firmly shut until that date, and we can speculate till doomsday, and I'm sure we're going to, I'm sure we're going to see thousands of articles and videos discussing this, but we're probably going to have to wait and see, and I'm probably going to be watching that live, I don't think I can afford to get over there, but I will probably be watching it live on Twitch when it happens, and hopefully screaming like a, like a, the most rabid fan when I get some good news. In fact, maybe I will actually stream whilst that event is on, so you can watch the stream with me and we can chat and, uh, you know, all wait together. Okay, now we've got that out of the way, let's move on to more channel-related things. Now, the past month has been a heavy tutorial month, I have released four videos regarding Mod Organizer for Fallout New Vegas and one video showing you how to try out the new alpha of Nexus Mod Manager with its new profile um, feature. And obviously, in the near future, I'm probably going to be looking at making a new tutor tutorial for Nexus Mod Manager and a comparison video, a video where I compare the at least the profiling feature of Nexus Mod Manager with Mod Organizer because obviously a lot of people are interested in that. The comparison video I'm hoping to start in the next week or so. I'm a little I'm a little burned out on the tutorials to be honest. It, it, they take a hell of a lot of work and uh, I've been I've been you know I have created quite a few recently so I'm probably going to take a week or so off and then start on the comparison video. I don't know when Nexus Mod Manager is going to be out of its alpha state, and I probably won't make a new full video for Nexus Mod Manager until that happens. But of course, that is on the horizon. Now, those tutorial videos, having taken so much of my time, have obviously taken time from the mod showcases, the Skyrim mod sanctuaries, that type of thing. There were quite a few mods, actually, that I really did want to look at, and of course, I wanted to carry on testing Perma, but that has been difficult to cram in. I'm hoping to get back on track with that now that I've got those tutorials out of the way. In fact, I'm hoping to have a live stream very, very soon for continuing on with the perma testing. Uh, that live testing will be over on Twitch. I will talk about why a little later in this video. Okay, and on to the subject of Let's Plays. I am currently doing a Let's Play of Helgen Reborn, a Skyrim mod, and of course I'm still in my Witcher playthrough. But of course Jack is back. I have started my Fallout New Vegas uh, Let's Play, the Chapter 4, and uh, it, that is, it's good to be back. I really do miss playing that game and that character, so that is back and is going to continue on for quite some time. For the other Let's Plays, obviously Helgen Reborn will end when that quest ends, and The Witcher will probably... I don't actually know how much longer I've got in The Witcher. I can tell you that once The Witcher is done, I am almost instantly going to start Witcher 2. I am really enjoying Witcher. I do appreciate it's not as popular as my other series, but I'm going to play it. It is it is a classic, and um, I'm got. I definitely want to do Witcher 2. So that is going to be a thing. Once Helgen Reborn is done, I will probably look for another 
Skyrim quest mod to try out. I have seen a few and I know I'm going to get a lot of suggestions down below. I've even seen one that hasn't got as much um, attention as it perhaps should have. I'm thinking of trying that. Now, I will warn you when I do these kind of Let's Plays, they could be a bit of a bust occasionally. I mean, there is going to be a time when I'm going to try out a quest mod and for some reason it's just not going to work. Either the mod's not exactly up to standard or perhaps it's incompatible with some of my other mods and so on. So I do warn you when, when I'm doing that type of Let's Play, it could be a bit of a mixed bag. So far I've been pretty lucky. Moonpath to Elsewhere was a lot of fun and Helgen Reborn is really turning out to be a very polished mod that is a lot of fun to play. Uh, there may be short breaks between each of the Skyrim mod Let's Plays, and in those breaks I may do other Let's Plays, I don't know, or I may just increase the number on Witcher and Fallout New Vegas. I haven't decided yet. I have got a lot of things I would like to play. Um, I, I would like to do another horror Let's Play, got to be honest with you. I would like to do another one. Uh, I would like to do The Evil Within and so... I've heard mixed reviews on that one, but, you know, I would like to do that. But, of course, I still want to do a Mass Effect playthrough. The, the, the big problem with that is, you know, that's three games, a lot of DLC. That's an epic undertaking. That's not something I can just slot in between um, the Skyrim mod videos. That probably is going to need its own place in the timetable, regular timetable, for at least a year so would either have to replace Skyrim, Fallout, or the other independent game. So I haven't quite decided how to do that because I, I don't want to be I don't want to be locked into the same three games for the next two years. You know, I don't want to be doing Skyrim, Fallout New Vegas, and Mass Effect, and have no time for anything else. So I haven't quite decided how to do that. Perhaps it's going to take the slot that Witcher and Witcher Two have taken. Who knows? But that means some time. I still haven't quite got a game plan for how I'm going to play all of the games I want to play. And in fact, I think I, well, I know I have come to the conclusion that I'm never going to do all of the games I want to do. It's just, it just turns out not to be feasible. So, but I will keep you informed, you know, as, as I start, well, you'll know because the videos will appear <laughs> in the video feed. Um, so there you go. Moving on to live streaming. I am still live streaming over on Twitch. Uh, Friday night is a definite thing, and at the moment that would be Darkest Dungeon, an early access game that I'm really enjoying, as difficult and frustrating as it can be. And it seems to be a popular one for the stream as well. It's it's very involved. It's uh, <laughs> it's one of those games that can sort of get the chat really motivated. People like to volunteer to be on the, in the party, and everyone's sort of hoping that that their, uh, their friend's going to survive because it is a game with a fairly high attrition rate, although I've been doing pretty pretty well so far. I've only lost two people. I'm, I've am i just finished playing Dying Light at least once through. I don't think I'll play that much more on the stream, so of course I'll be streaming something new fairly soon. Not sure what that is going to be. I have also decided to stream the the mod testing, Skyrim mod testing, over on Twitch, purely and simply because of the moderation tools. I thought the YouTube tools were a little better now. They are not, and unfortunately the chat on YouTube just gets pretty horrific. So I, I've decided to move it back over to Twitch, but don't worry, I am going to upload the mod testing to my main channel. That's going to remain on the main channel. And during those streams, I am going to demand the chat be a little more focused than they might be in, say, you know, Friday Night for Darkest Dungeon. I will be posting it to the main channel. I found a good solution for that, and in fact, it actually helps because I can edit it a little bit and remove some of the long pauses. So hopefully it will actually be a better experience for people watching the videos later on as well. I am trying to get better at announcing the streams. I occasionally will do a YouTube video announcement if it's a fairly big stream, but I try. I don't want to do those non-stop. I do try to use Twitter and announce them, but I've had to disable the automatic announcement because, of course, if I have connection problems, 
you'll get 3,000 tweets, which can be annoying. And I've also uh, made the decision to try and announce them via Steam, and I constantly forget. So if you're in the chat, by the way, and I start streaming, uh, remind me to announce it via the the um, the group announcements. So if you're part of the Steam group, you will get an announcement if you're playing or doing something telling you that I am streaming. On the subject of Steam, I I finally made level 89 and then stopped. I literally just I hit this wall and stopped. I've not made any badges for weeks, so that seems to be the level I'm going to be stuck at. Uh, however, that does give me enough friend slots to accept quite a lot of people if they if they decide to join me for this game or that. Again, please don't send me random invites. I'm only going to accept people who are either on my patron list or if they are in the team speak waiting to play a game with me. So if we're playing Payday 2, which I've not played for a little while, and they're in the team speak, I will add them to the friend to my friends list there. I will, of course, leave a link to the TeamSpeak down below. Uh, feel free to add that to your bookmarks and join us for games. Uh, you can actually find a lot of other people who might want to play similar games to you, and you can use the TeamSpeak to interact with them. Be, be sure to join the Gophers Minions group. It's now 7,000 members plus, and I'm using this to... Well, for a start, I'm a curator there now. So you can actually follow me and you will be told when I've given a new game recommendation and then linked to the review. There are also announcements. As I said, I'm going to try and use them more. There are events we can organize and sometimes the other officers do so. Elder Scrolls Online, that type of thing. So this is actually a pretty good thing for you guys to actually join in on. And I have added a few new reviews got 24 of them now, and uh, feel free to check those out if you feel like finding out whether I liked a game. I've added Dying Light, Five Nights at Freddy's, and Wolfenstein since last time, I think. Maybe some others as well, actually. But go and check that out if you are interested. And lastly, a brief note about the website. I know I was hoping to roll it out at the beginning of this year, and indeed, the, the site is in progress. The styling has been done. What they're doing now is they are building the menu system. I'm hoping it's going to be pretty soon. Uh, we'll actually have something I can roll out, introduce to you, show you the forums, and make an official release. And then we can start adding new and exciting features to it. An advanced search, for example, that's probably going to be the priority, an advanced search. And some other things that have uh, come up, some other ideas that would be pretty cool. So. When that's ready, I will of course tell you. And that is it for February 2015. I hope I covered everything and let's hope we have another good month and I will see you again in March for the next Minions Monthly. <laughs>